Hey everyone, Steve Witt here, uh, co-founder of The Travel Franchise. I'm joined by Norma. Welcome, Norma. Thank you. So, uh, Norma has uh, been in the travel franchise business for how long now? Five years. Five years, yeah. wow. Five so years fly. Does, wow. <laughs> Five uh, years next week. Yes, yeah, so go back and check the photos, see how young we look <laughs> back then, hey? Uh, so we're actually here in an absolutely gorgeous location in Mexico on our elite experience. How amazing is this place? Oh, it's fabulous. It is, and uh, I think um, this is probably one of the nicest hotels I've ever stayed in. Uh, so over the last five years, Norm's been building an amazing business with the Travel Franchise, but we're not here actually to talk about that. Um, I've asked Norma to join us for a few minutes just to talk about franchising as a whole. Um, so for the guys at home, Norma, if they've not uh, seen you on previous videos or know much about you, just a quick 60 second overview maybe of your history in business, being an entrepreneur, self-employed, and uh, where you've bring this up to date now. Up to date. Okay. Um, I started my first business in 2005. Uh, it was a telephone answering business and that was a franchise business. Um, I decided to, to buy into a franchise because I'd never been into in a business before, I'd never managed a business before um, and I liked the idea of, of there being a structure, people that are successful in running a business and they've got the systems and support to yep. help you uh, grow and develop. So I bought into that business and uh, and it was hugely successful. Really enjoyed it, employed uh, 12 members of staff. Uh, kept that until 2010 when I sold it for a very nice profit. Very good. Um, sold the business, uh, walked out feeling very happy with myself that I'd sold. Um, but then sort of on, on a downer really, it's like, what do I do now? Yep. Um, you, know, you can't just sit around and, and do nothing. Um, and at the time I was selling my house um, didn't like the estate agents that I was dealing with, they yep. weren't, didn't give good advice, they weren't very helpful, um, so I thought there's got to be, a, there's got to be a, um, a gap in the market for somebody who's honest and can give good advice to people wanting to sell their house, do the, the house staging and that kind of thing. Um, so I went off and did my estate agency training and become an estate agent. So, and that was an independent estate agent. Okay. I thought, right, I'm going to set up on bu in business on my own this yep. time. Uh, I've already proved that I can run a successful business, so I'll do it on my own. Um, that, again, was a, a very successful business, but it was a lot harder right. uh, to start a business from scratch, yep. to, to have to design your own websites, get your own systems in place, and starting from scratch. So, you know, it works, but you have to work so much harder at it. So that wasn't a franchise? That wasn't a franchise, right, okay. no. That was, that was just my business. Yep. Um, kept that going for about three years, um, and realized quite early on that it wasn't my bag. <laughs> I don't, didn't like being an estate agent at yeah. all. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I like the sun, I like the, the, uh, I like the nice weather, so going out on a cold, rainy, miserable night to, yeah. to do house viewings uh, wasn't for me, and uh, just the whole process of buying and selling in the UK, uh, it, it's, it, it just doesn't fit with my, um, my beliefs really, yeah. so it wasn't for me. So I thought, right, I'll sell that business and, uh, and decided I want to go and travel the world. Brilliant. So, uh, yeah, sold so the did. business, travelled the world yep. for a year, visited 12 countries in, in 12 months and absolutely loved it, had a ball. Um, and while I was travelling, that's what gave me the, the sort of travel bug really and thought, what can I do when I get back? I need yep. to earn some money when I get back to the UK. Uh, I'll become a travel agent. As you so, do. As yep. you do. Uh, so I did my research, looked into various options within travel, and uh, luckily came across Not Just Travel. Um, did a lot of, of research into Not Just Travel and, and the due diligence, and uh, liked what I saw and, and bought into that. And I think the reason for me, the reason I bought into a franchise again, uh, especially especially with travel, is again to get that support and the systems, and and to piggyback on the buying power yep. um, of a larger organisation, and uh, yeah, again, it's been really successful and uh, really happy with it. So, um, with the travel business, you, you you bought into our business, but what was the driver for travel? What was the real sort of reason you chose travel? Uh, the real reason was that I wanted a, a lifestyle business. Yep. Yeah, you know, I wanted to. I realised that I love travelling a lot, and I want to do more of it. Um, I wanted a business where I could earn money. Uh, while traveling, yep. I can I can get away and work from anywhere. So when I was choosing a new business, it was very much what business can I buy into that because I, I was adamant I wanted a franchise again. 
um, what business can I buy into where I can work from anywhere in the world yeah um, choose my hours um, and an enjoyable business as well so how's that worked out for you <laughs> looking around <laughs> looking around well I'm away a lot I go I go on holidays a lot I go on educational trips yeah um, you know you're building your knowledge up all the time learning all the time um, but the fact that you can go to any country in the world and as long as you've got your computer and your internet yep. um, you, you can effectively run the business from from anywhere and and it's a great lifestyle business and I mean we've proven that on this trip not sorry with yourself but certainly with that we've had guys here on this trip doing six seven eight bookings in the time that they've just been in this hotel so yep. it absolutely works and that's something you should really look for in a business, but uh, I think most importantly is the passion, the excitement, the, the fact that you wanted to be in travel. It wasn't just the the fact that it's a good business to be in, it's the fact no. that you, you had a desire to be in it. Yeah, I think if you're gonna go into any business, um, you need to believe in what, what, you're, uh, what the business is selling, whether it's a product or a service. Um, you've got to be passionate about it. Yeah. Um, you've got to enjoy it, uh, as that was proved with my estate agency business. You yeah. know, I was, it's a good business being an estate agent is a good business but it's not for me no. so I think it's important to make sure that you you really look into to what you're going to be doing what you're going to be selling and uh, and that you've got a belief in it and that you're passionate about it so um, I think I'm right in saying that 90% of businesses which are franchised are successful uh, compared to only 15% of people who just start a business uh, from a sort of self-employed do-it-yourself basis yeah. why do you think that is I think it's because it's yeah. You know, if you buy into a franchise, the business is already successful. So you need to make sure that the franchise you're buying into is successful. Yep. Um, but you know they've all they've already got a proven uh, model that works, and they've built the systems and the support, and and they can give you guidance on the best practices, what works, what doesn't work. So you're not having to start from from scratch. Yeah. Um, and find out for yourself what works and what doesn't work. So it's a lot quicker in a franchise business uh, to get off the ground and to be successful uh, and to see a return on your investment. So how quickly did you see a return? Um, well, really straight away. Right. On, on you know, I got my first book in uh, within a day of, of finishing training. Yep. Um, and the first couple of months, um, the bookings that I w was doing were, were bookings for. for future for the future but also last minute bookings that yep. you get paid on straight away um, so actually money coming in money started coming in really from month one yep. um, receiving the, the money or hitting the money back challenge which at, at that time was to, to hit uh, 20,000 pounds worth of commission that was within five months wow. um, so pretty much after five months I had the franchise fee that I paid back um, and and then once you've once you get off the ground with a with any franchise business and and start getting your customer base, yeah, if you're working hard enough and uh, you know you're building up your your client base, you just keep going. You know the business just keeps uh, so, succeeding. So so ninety percent of franchises are successful. I guess they don't all go at quite the same pace. Mm. It's all different. But what do you think makes a successful franchise successful, or how do people do it quicker than others, maybe? I think really being focused, yep. um, knowing that you've, you know, buying into a franchise doesn't mean that you've paid your money, you can sit back and wait for the business to come in. You've still got to, it's still your business and you've still got to go out and promote it and get your customers and inquiries, know how to speak to people, um, get people to believe in you and to trust you and yep. want to, to buy or book a holiday with you. Um, and it is really sheer hard work and focus and, and dedication and having a goal, you know, having a purpose to, to what you're doing, knowing yeah. where you want to go and how quickly you want to get there. And for those people who aren't maybe as successful as other um, franchises or a bit slower, what do you think the, the main reason there is? I think there's, there's several reasons. Um, the most common one is that they don't follow the training that uh, and, and the things that they've been taught. Yeah. Um, some people come into any franchise and think that they know better and they're going to do it their own way yeah. uh, and in that sense they might as well just start as an in, you know as a, a, a an independent business because you know they're, they're not following the format that, that's been set out for them Good point yeah other people i think they just sit back and think that the phone's going to ring yeah and they don't do anything about it um 
and, and other people just don't have the focus and the dedication or the passion or the drive to want it to succeed. They're quite happy for it just to, to go at a snail's pace. Yeah. Um, and I think if that's what you want, that's fine. But you've really got to be focused on what you want to achieve. Brilliant. Good advice. Yeah, absolutely. So final question then. Um, for anyone looking at a franchise, whether it be a travel franchise or a, any any type of franchise, what would be the top things you'd be looking for, or you suggest that people should look for? Look for. Um, I'd, I'd look into the company, speak to the, the the owners of the company, make sure you like them, that you trust them. Yeah. Um, speak to other franchisees. If it's an existing franchise business, they, they, they'll have franchisees. Speak to some franchisees and get a feel for. Uh, for the business uh, and what they've thought and what their experiences are. Um, ask questions about the systems that, that are being used, the training that's going to be given, yeah. um, the support. There's a lot of franchises that are quite happy to take your money, um, but once they've taken your money, there's absolutely no support whatsoever. And that's what I found when I was investigating um, the travel franchise, was that there are other travel franchises out there that, that just don't give you that support. Um, and you need the support and you want the support and the ongoing training. Yeah. Um, so I think that, that's really important. Brilliant. Thank you, Norma. So uh, some great advice there and a bit of background is what you should be thinking about if you are looking at a franchise, whether it be a travel franchise or any, any type of business. We thoroughly recommend franchising. It's been proven to work time and time again, not just our business, but franchising as a whole. If you'd like more information about the travel franchise, which hopefully we'd love you to do, uh, go along to uh, www.thetravelfranchise.com, check out all the information, register for an information pack, click on the Discovery website, top right-hand side, see lots more information about uh, Norma and the business as a whole, and hopefully uh, you too could be enjoying fantastic uh, destinations just like this on one of our educational trips, and see you in the sunshine very soon.